Hello and welcome you damn crooks, my name is Cavell and welcome back to Jack and Daxter. Last time we went over to the Forbidden Jungle, went into the Forbidden Temple and turned on the blue eco vents, and did surprisingly well on a fishing minigame, which I never thought would happen in a recording. Anyway, this time we're going over, over here. To Sentinel Beach. There it goes. Now let's just get a charge of Blue Eco and just dash along the coast. Break as many boxes as we can. Let's not forget these because on my first attempt I completely forgot they existed. Spent my time looking for them for God knows how long. Any. Okay, you do learn something new every day. I didn't know that you could actually punch those. Not that I actually tried or anything. Anyway. We want to get whoever's shooting those bombs and have them break these metal, blah, metal boxes. Let's try and get you over. Okay, I guess that works too. Because we cannot break them with our bare hands. Anyway. You jerk! Uh, let's take care of him in a bit. Anyway. Let's see if this guy can shoot me from over here! as you can. Anyway, we have another power cell over here. Just out in the open. That's it. No strings attached. Unlike that other one. Alright, let's just climb up here. And you might notice these. There are, I think, like three or four of them around the beach. If you don't want to just find a certain place to climb up, you can just take one of those and ride it up. And we have these dogs here. I'll get over there in a bit. Anyway, there are the dogs. Not much problem. What was I even trying to say there? Not much problem. Anyway! Let's get going. You know what? Screw it. Alright, so this part over here, you don't really have to worry about lurker sharks. Despite it being deep water because of this little I don't know what it is called this little sand bridge here go on this side and it yeah, I think I heard it anyway go on that side a lurker shark will come by this side is perfectly safe I remember being worried about that when I was a kid. So, yeah. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Jump, Jack. Anyway. We have this guy here. What are you looking so smug for? Just... Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. Looks like you need to get him from the back. Oh, there it is. We gotta raise it to him. Okay, flip that. Raise him to it. 
There's an There's actually an alternative way you can get this. And I kind of wonder if he'll sit down to Where'd he go? Did he fly away? Oh man, that sucks. I really wanted to show that. Anyway, let's just go over here. We have these rocks blocking these green eco collectors. Jumping into one of the green eco vents will completely heal you. Let's just bust these open. I mean, it'll get Samos off our back at least, right? Oh! Okay! Let's take this. Well, I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> All right, he's a little ungrateful, isn't he? Anyway, I actually kind of want to go down here because we have. Punch those poles up from below. Um, you do remember in the first episode I said that I was a player, right? Anyway, just uppercut these three times, and they'll move. Be they'll be moved up. Alternatively, you can also push these back down from above, but there's not really any point to that now, is there? Anyway, let's jump up, because I want to grab what's up here. Ah! Wah! Past pole number one, we have some orbs and a scout fly. And a view of the collectors. On the other side, pull number two, we have more orbs and another scout fly. Jack, thank you. Anyway, let's go to the important stuff. We have seagulls here. Yeah, just chase him off. Not really much now, is there? We have this up here. I should be uppercutting these. What am I doing? Ow. Alright. On this little ruin here, we have another orb just out in the open. All right, now we have this jerk. And we have more seagulls. Now let's jump, man, come on. Uh. Up. Uh. It was not me. Wow. They caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. It was not me. Anyway, I just want to take a quick check down here because one of these ruins is a little sneaky and is hiding some orbs. Anyway, I want to go over here now. Ooh, scout fly. Remind me to get that later. Anyway, this is one of the cap vents, as you can see from the cap sticking out of it. 
Shut up, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Just use these to jump. And you'll pretty much just want to hop on each island. There's another vent halfway through. But I don't want to go all the way just yet. I'm going to go over here. To open this cap. Not much, but hey. Something, right? Anyway, let's just go back. And try this all again. You can actually skip some of these islands too, which is kind of interesting. And now we go over here, and we see that we have two lurkers and a cannon. Or we could just have some power cell just fling out. Grab it! And now we can just hop on this thing. Circle to use. And it's pretty simple. Left and right on the stick to move it. Down and up to change the angle. And X to start charging. Let go of X to actually fire. Now this is where the alternative choice comes in. If for some reason you can't do the seagull thing like me when I was a kid, you can actually use this to blow the seagull up. Seagull pelican up. And I learned this by accident. I was... I th think I was just trying to blow off some steam because I couldn't get it when I was a stupid little kid. Anyway. Let's just get back here. Charge up. And I want to get these orbs before I completely forget like an idiot again. I mean, I kind of am, but... Shut up. Alright, now let's not completely forget about this. And I want to just run up. Run up. And get this. Oh! Forgot to mention, these are some interesting lurkers. You can only attack them when their shell is up. Otherwise, as you saw earlier, they'll pretty much just spin out a little bit. Anyway, I just want to get up here. And I want to get that power cell that, uh, just happened to fall from the cliff. Let's just put it at that. Get up. Let's grab this. And I want to point something out. Just want to show this interesting little... These two statues that are carved into the cliffside. Pretty interesting. I honestly didn't notice that for a long time, sadly. Anyway, let's just go over here. And I want to jump these cliffs. Well, not really cliffs, are they? Uh oh. Alright, we have a cap here. A true animal lover. Do you see any other birds up there? You must be a true animal lover. Oh, here, birdie, birdie, here, birdie, uh. birdie. You must be a true animal lover. <laughs> here, birdie, birdie, 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 here
Happy birthday. Does she ever shut up? I never actually stopped to listen to this. Oh, here, birdie, birdie. Birdie, birdie. Alright, that wasn't gentle. Careful. Easy does it. Good job. Now beat me down here by the egg. I thought you said you piled some hay to catch the thing. What's wrong with you? Well. Uh, we might want to talk to the bird watcher and see if we scramble that flood flood egg. I mean, the sun did come up. I guess breakfast isn't out of the option now, is it? Oh my! I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Your mom? You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing, at least. We didn't murder yet another animal. I mean, I think uh, an entire flock of seagulls was bad enough. And the fact that I kind of wanted to show show another murder with a pelican... Not that good of an idea. <laughs> Alright, let's just break these open. And get another power cell. How much do I have left, actually? Um, I got all the power cells. And I think the only orbs I have left are in this... This part of the... I kind of want to call it a lake. Anyway! Let's just dive to get them. Uh, get all of them, Jack. Thank you. Alright. We have these over here. Alright. Why am I suddenly being quiet after not being able to shut up? Alright. I think the last ones we need are right behind this waterfall. Uh, I somehow missed all of them, that's great! Well, at least that's better than before. <laughs> yeah, like I said last time, I somehow missed all of the... All of the orbs right at the beginning of the area. So that's something at least. Back off. Anyway. Let's just go back to the village. Let's speed things up a little bit. And we have this over here, before I completely forgot about this guy, too. Right at the edge of the village. Not too terribly out of the way. And I want to know, did I forget one over here? Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells, and hurry! My father says he's seen more lurkers around! Alright. I guess that's important too. Anyway, uh... What do you have to say? Oh, hey dudes! Did you 
find my muse yet? Yeah, I kind of forgot that they had a line that they say if you didn't do what they asked for yet. Um, yeah. I guess that is it for today. Next time on Jack and Daxter, we'll be riding the Swede boat all the way over to Misty Island. I'll see you guys then! Hop.